Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve. Um, I'm Fate from Let's Play with Fate, and last time that we were playing, we explored the police station. Oh, my volume is muted. One second. All right, that's better. All right, so last time we were playing. We explored the police station. Our um, our character, she was on national television, and she caused a bit of an uproar. And now she and her partner Daniel are going to a museum where there's a researcher who just published a new theory about mitochondria, which is what we're thinking is causing all of the problems right now in this game. So, yep. Let's get started. Alright. Day two. Alright, and I'm gonna do the double save thing that I mentioned last episode that I was gonna do. I'm gonna save over that. Alright. So now, Daniel is going to bring the car around for us. So while he's doing that, we're gonna head to... Oh, there's a bit of a lag right now. Um... Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. We're gonna head to the front of the building. Oh. Right here. in here, this is the main lobby, there isn't really anything here, I don't think. I think you can talk to this guy, though. Maybe. Disrupt him from what he's doing. What a case to have on Christmas, huh? That's it. I thought he was gonna say something else. Alright, so now, we go out front, and it's gonna bring us to the world map. And we can only go to Carnegie Hall. Which was where we were when Mom Eve attacked, and there's nothing we can really do there. The police around there just say, go on and get the investigation going. So, we're gonna go to the museum now. Alright, and we get a little cutscene of them in the cop car. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Camp will be there. Dr. Clamp. What's his area of research? No. Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria is something, but it seems to cover the whole gen the genetic spectrum. That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in a museum? Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh great, we're gonna have to work. We're gonna have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. In case none of you remember, Aya completely, like, messed up with the press conference. She revealed too much information and got the press all riled up. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now, he's my boss. And even small talk like that plays a part later, so keep that in mind. Little things like that do play a part in later episodes. 
American Museum of Natural History. Manhattan. Is this an actual place? I know that Carnegie Hall is, I think. Actually, I'm, I don't know for sure. Um, They're talking about the dinosaur exhibit. Again, little things. I like how they took the time to animate the sound of the crunching snow or whatever. Like, most games even today, well, maybe more today, but most games back then and early, even late 2000s, didn't even take the time to animate stuff like that, until like change audio like that. They kept the same walking stuff. Doing okay. Pretty cold day though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure he does. As a matter of fact, he's up here, there in his room right now. That's one giant maglite. Did he do something? Nah, we're just here to talk to him, that's all. Thank you, it shouldn't take long. The place is pretty creepy without any people. You'll find him in the research lab on the second floor. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out, ever. Thanks. We can't move. No, we're frozen in place. Okay, good. Why did I end up going backwards? Oh, by the way. Could you sign in? It's policy. Let us keep... Let, let's us keep track of who comes in. Thanks, Fate. Gee, Daniel, you sure don't you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebook on the counter. Thanks. Why? Ah, I've been clicking the wrong buttons. Oops. I've been clicking the end button instead of the sideways button. Sign in is policy. Notebooks on the counter. I don't really see the point in this. Just my name? Yep, that should be enough unless you want to leave your number too. That's it. Hey, Faith. Over here. I love the museum. Of course, I haven't played through this entire game. After a certain point in Central Park, it becomes a blind um, game for me. So, I don't know if I'm going to end up liking the museum later on, but hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Well, of course it's open. It's his office. Excuse me. Hello? Hey. Dr. Clamp. Such slow cutscenes. Dr. Clamp. I hear you. Goes right back to working. We're here. I, we're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. complete unison look at each other. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? What? This again? Ah, what is this? Now that I think about it, he looks like Dr. Clamp! Actually, I kind of knew that, but, <laughs> um, I is coming to the revelation that he is familiar. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? 
Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now do you? That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Haha. -ha. You two have absolutely no idea what true mitochondria is like. Do you? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code, which is true. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite, that's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria, do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know that mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the combustions from last night were... For a human to burn and melt, 1,600 degrees of heat must be generated. Wait. One sec, guys. Um, there are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a sing simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live. But in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? Haha, <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria has control, has control over an organism's growth. Sorry, just swapping out headphones with my sister. Um, take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when the cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. Lies! It's not initiated by mitochondria. Which, is, when it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off in essence dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with aging. No, it's not. It's, mitochondria have nothing to do with aging. Um, so, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? These are all old theories, so that's why I'm saying that they're not true. But it's important to remember these old theories because they have quizzes later on in the game. But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria could mutate ten times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise that they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of, a mito of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist want wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This found finding was announced around the world. And with this... The mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve. Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here goes back to typing. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it. So, yeah. That was like, what? Ten minutes almost? Of just talking to him? Oop, where did I go? Oops. I didn't want to go there. 
have to go back to NYPD, I think. So, yeah. Alright, so. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station, Fate. Hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo. I can't help but thinking of Power Rangers Turbo when they say, Kick it into turbo! Or whatever they say with the turbo thing. New York City Police Department, 17th Precinct. Daniel beat me to the door. He walks like... He walks like at the speed of smell and he beat me. I'm guessing we're going here. Let's talk to Daniel. Let's go, folks. We're what? I, didn't, I missed what he said. Here we are. Oh, they wrote Melissa in the background and they have like all the details about the case. Awesome. And they have DNA and Mito written on the board. <laughs> and Eve. Okay, Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident and the concert was canceled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? That's where his son wanted to go for a concert, right? Ben and Lorraine, they're at that concert. What? Daniel, we're not through yet. Screw you, Daniel. Fate? Watch his back. Obviously. Yes, sir. Mod permit. Woo, I got a mod permit. I'm gonna save it for later. Because I don't know anything about guns, as I have mentioned previously. Oops, not far enough. So I'm gonna go... And while he goes out the door... I'm gonna run down here. Take care of some stuff. With Taurus. And what's his name? And then I'll end the episode there. When are you gonna let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, ya gazer. I love how the two of them represent, like, the opinions on gun control and gun safety. The people that really want, like, guns to be used more because they think that it will be safer for people if everyone has a gun, or the people that believe the opposite. Okay. Is there anything in this one? This one is oh, is closed too. So let's check this out. I'm guessing 
that every once in a while those will fill up and stuff. Alright, so let's talk to Wayne. I can turn that gun into a cannon easily. I don't think that's the point, Wayne. You want to leave something here? Alright. Um, yeah, I don't want to store any equipment. Let's store... Let's store our mod permit here. So we have three medicines, one revive. All right, let's talk to Taurus. See if he gives us a new gun. Okay, he won't give us a new gun. So we're pretty much done there. That's pretty fine though. We have our M19A1 was it? Or M16A1? What was it? M16A1. We have our M16, our modded M16A1, so... Alright, let's get going. Actually, wait. Shoot! Whatever, we'll get through some of the cutscenes, because I think you can save before you go into the park. Alright. What the hell does Melissa or no Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather up people in one big area. Damn, that thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for ya. Kicking it into turbo. <laughs> Every time I see him go for the gear shift now, I'm gonna be like, Turbo! Power Ridge Turbo! Yes, I do like Power Rangers and I am a girl. Deal with it, people. Alright. Daniel, stop! I got- I gotta get my boy, rookie. The minute he tries to enter the park, lights on fire. Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. You can't even see anything, though! I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but, but... I'll get them out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. Alright, I'm conning on you, feet. I know. There's a phone somewhere around here, I think. I don't want to go into the park. Without being able to save. Or well, whatever. Notice she doesn't light on fire. There's the phone. I knew there was a phone somewhere around here. After you pass this cop car, you're gonna get into enemy territory. So, you better save as soon as you get here. Alright. So, I'm gonna save over this file. And alright, so that's it for today's episode of Let's Play Parasite Eve. Um, please like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel for an update and all that junk. Um, yeah, and I'm probably going to record the next episode right after this, back to back. So, yeah, um, but I won't upload it right away. So, yeah, look forward to the next one. It's going to be ready within a day, so see you folks later.